you everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday morning again. What are we? Sunday, Sunday the 7th of May. It's, uh, it's about quarter to seven in the morning. So the plan, well, it's a bit of the same really. First 50 miles, going to be cycling on roads I don't know. Up hills I don't know. Just exploring really. Hopefully find somewhere for breakfast around the 50 mile marker. Probably be Cotswold Farm Park because I'm going to head in that direction. And then uh, see how I feel after that. I've just cycled through Pebworth. Uh, heading out, I believe, towards Longmaston. I'm going to be roughly heading in the direction of Borton on the Water, which is a very nice, very nice village. Is it village? Which is a very nice place. And um, I haven't taken you up there before, so let's do that today. I should arrive there around. 9, 9.30 so it hopefully won't be too busy by then if it's a nice day or even a dry day bolt on the water will be heaving a bit like Stratford but that's where we're heading if I can find it Just come up a nasty little hill. That wakes you up first thing on a Sunday morning. Ooh. Over 20% at times. I roughly plotted the route I'm going last night just to familiarise myself with the roads and turnings I'm going to have to take. and. Generally speaking, this first 50 miles is uphill. vlog last week. Um, I, I did go out. I went to Malvern and uh, back 100 miles, took out my Strava and uh, yeah I went out but I decided not to vlog just for just for a, a break really. It's just easier to cycle without the camera nice to do it at times because doing filming holding the camera just slow you down I, uh, it's amazing how much quicker I went last week I think I did the first 50 miles averaging nearly 20 miles an hour I was uh, pleased with and that was with some serious climbs getting to the top of the Mulvans Barton on the Heath, just passed through. Yep, this ride has been very hilly so far, which is good. I don't mind that. I still have the creek in my bottom bracket. It's definitely the bottom bracket. I've booked the bike in to be looked at. I don't think there's a a failure in the bearings. I think they're just slipping in the uh, in the frame. Morning. Can you hear it now? It 
it's very annoying but hopefully they'll fix it I have the British Heart Foundation's Cotswold bike ride next weekend next Sunday so I want the bike running nicely for then I think I told you about it in a previous vlog the ride itself is 50 miles starting and ending at Cheltenham Racecourse and I'm going to cycle to it and from it which means I'll cycle 100 miles if you'd like to sponsor me for that ride I'll put a link in the description below just click on that it goes to a just giving page and anything you want to donate would be uh, very much appreciated thank you very much I'm not entirely sure where I am or where I'm going at the moment I just saw a sign for Chipping Norton it sounds sounds good it's roughly in the right direction so I'm heading to that is Chipping Norton which I believe is home to Jeremy Clarkson fun fact there number 33 feeling okay so far for this ride I'm not pushing too hard as I said there's a lot of hills so I'm just pacing myself out I'm not a quick cyclist anyway I'm I go for distance so it's always pacing certainly last week those first 50 miles at 20 miles an hour average uh, yeah, I cooked myself. The second 50 were a lot harder. So I always try to think about the long game, how much further I've got to go. Through the summer, I go out in the evenings during the week and generally push a little harder. Because they're shorter rides, 30 to 40 miles. I can go that little bit harder and a bit faster um, at the moment the light still isn't still isn't there into the evenings and the weather hasn't been great this week uh, which is why I've been on Zwift a couple of times Zwift is a great great training tool for fitness um, it's essentially a, a virtual world that you cycle in compare it with ideally a smart trainer put your bike on it you log in and then as you cycle on your bike your virtual cyclist in the virtual world starts cycling as well and uh, if you have a smart trainer which is the best way to do it you get responses back you get feedback so when your virtual cyclist hits a hill your bike feels like it's going uphill it's harder to cycle also you get the benefits of drafting so if you get in a bunch of riders virtual riders it gets a little easier just like it would in the real world it's just a, a great motivational tool seeing some scenery in front of you I have a screen in front of the bike and as you cycle along the scenery changes it's a lot better than using a static bike in a gym not that I do that anymore but that's just boring you feel every mile it's awful you can still have another screen in front of you watching your favourite YouTube videos maybe mine but uh, it's a great tool so if you haven't tried it give it a go ok where are we now? a big church up ahead I think we're coming into Churchill check 
Geld. Viel Spaß. Another little climb. Not a cattle crid, but it's going to be bumpy. Morning. Always say hi on your ride. Milton under Witchwood. Jail time. The most important thing to remember when cycling these long distances. When you're doing 100k, 100 mile rides, is to eat regularly. These jowls are ideal. They're not everyone's uh, everyone's thing. You can make your own snacks to bring along, but jowls are handy. It's all in this in this tiny pouch, handy to put in your back pocket and just pull out. 22 grams multi-source carbohydrate. This one's a lemon and lime, which doesn't taste too bad. I tend to stop when I see a bin. Because they are sticky and you don't want to put them back in your pocket. Okay, fueled up, let's go. I've seen the first signs for water on the water. I think we're pretty close. 20 past nine. Roughly what I said. Little Risington. So it's downhill to Porton on the water, and then we're climbing out up to Cotswold Farm Park for breakfast. Coming in on the south side of Porton on the water. Parking here is always a nightmare, as you can imagine. But I've always found this car park here to be the best one to use. It's big and it's a little bit further out, which means it doesn't fill up as quickly. I've always been able to park there. I think it's signposted as the, the car park for Birdland, which is just up here. Birdland is a great day out, especially if you have kids been there a few times, always had a, a good day. Doesn't look too busy yet. So this is bought on water. Not busy. Half nine, it's okay. Probably because nothing opens really till ten. It's a, it's a nice place to come. Plenty to do here. At the Birdland for the Motor Museum. If you go in there, you can see Brum. Brum's the little car from the kids' TV program. There's a model village and all sorts of little shops. It's just a typical quite sold touristy place. So now it's uphill, all the way to the Cotswold Farm Park for breakfast. Boo! Boo! There he is, Adam Henson. Best sausage bats around. 
just had mine. And now I'm going to continue along Buckle Street uh, towards. Oh, well, it goes to Snowsville in the end. I know it does continue on. Buckle Street, I assume, is a. Uh, oh, it follows a Roman road. It's very straight. If you stay on it, it goes all the way to Bidford. But this morning I'm going to turn off it uh, down Stanway Hill like I did a few weeks back. But this time I am going to go round Breeden Hill. Last time I cut it short, didn't I, because of the weather, but it's all right this morning. Bottom of Stanway Hill. Just coming up to 100 k's. Done. 10.30. Not too bad. Let's check the elevation. 1,230 meters climbed. It's not too bad. I told you there's lots of climbing in those first 50 miles. I'm still heading towards Breeden Hill, going around the far side, which is the clockwise direction I'm going to do. On the road between Toddington and Teddington now. I hate this road, it's so boring. It's around five miles and it's just, it's just nothing. Hello. Okay, he had a biscuit in his mouth, he couldn't say it. Next week at the Cotswold bike ride, we're going up this road on the left. That's along the route little climb there towards Winchcombe. I just hope we have the nice weather for it next weekend. Last year and the year before was really nice. Proper summer weather. I remember I had an ice cream at the end of last year's ride. So it was a lovely day. So fingers crossed for the same this year. Breeden Hill. Up over an old branch line that, uh, of course, doesn't exist anymore. But the bridges are still there. I'm on the far side of Breeden Hill now. Been through Breeden Village. That's been sent along here. But it's, uh, it's really quite warm. It's over 16 degrees. So, time for arm warmers to come off, I think. Ready? Ooh. Hey! There we go. Sleeveless. It's like this just kind of weird. So, time for arm. Okay. Come the castle. That's a loop of the hill. Broadway. Ten miles later, just like that. Broadway is busy. Uh. Hello. Hello. Hey. And we're off again. Following on from uh, last time, when I was talking about the health benefits of commuting by bike. This coming Thursday, May the 11th, is National Cycle to Work Day. So why not do it? Jump on your bikes that day, cycle to work, and see how you like it. Give it a go. I'll be doing it. Well, I cycle to work every day anyway, but I'll be doing it on that day. I might even vlog it, as it is a special day. So that'll be fun. You can see my, uh, my commute to work. 
I'm back maybe. Maybe I'll vlog both rides. If you don't want to miss out on that, you best uh, subscribe to my channel right now so you don't miss out. Or not, whatever. Well, this ride is pretty much done now. Heading home, it'll be, uh, oh, it'll be a little over 90 miles today which isn't too bad. There was a lot of climbing in those first 50 miles. Uh, quite a relaxing ride, really. Hello. So I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. You might see me again later in the week for my commute to work. And then of course, next weekend is the British Heart Foundation's Cotswold bike ride. If you'd like to sponsor me, you can find the link in the description below. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye!